My name is Katherine Cummins. I'm a proxy holder for Jennifer Mills. My questions are regarding your North Mara and Porgora mines. Last year at this AGM, I raised the human rights abuses that continue to be perpetrated on local Korea people through excess use of force by private and public security forces at the North Mara mine in Tanzania. These assaults, sometimes leading to death, continue. Now, just five years after you settled legal claims on behalf of victims out of court, you are again facing legal action in the courts in the UK on behalf of new victims of the same abuses. My questions are, as most of the shootings and killings are perpetrated by the police you pay to guard the mine, when will you stop using armed police as part of your security apparatus at this mine? And when will you reform your flawed grievance mechanism so that it operates completely independently from mine personnel? All right, thank you, uh, Catherine. Thank you for your question. Uh, I do recall the same or similar question last year. Um, just to point out that uh, Barrick is a member of Voluntary Principles for Security and Human Rights. We have a memorandum of understandings with our police force uh, in uh, uh, Tanzania and PNG, as we do in other countries in which we operate. And, uh, and being part of the Voluntary Principles, we commit to external assurance on a regular basis. And the last time the um, uh, Tanzanian operations were assessed uh, by independent insurers was in 2018. I'm not sure what you mean by uh, continue to be perpetrated, but certainly the, there is a list of historical uh, accusations. And as you know, we, in, when, when we took back Acacia, we engaged with the accusers and their representatives, and we suggested that they seek, we seek a solution uh, to their claims through competent courts and authorities. Uh, we suggested that we start in Tanzania. They declined that, suggesting that, that those courts and that procedure would not be independent or competent. We then, in discussion with their legal representatives, agreed to waive the jurisdiction and have these accusations heard in a UK court. We were party to that engagement and that solution. And that process is now uh, ongoing, and, uh, and it would be presumptuous of me to comment any further let the courts do their job and see what comes up with, what, what they come up with. Um, of course, we do not speak for the police, and the police are there to maintain community peace and law and order, of, and we are part of that community.